Welcome back, beer tubers. Ryan here with another episode of San Diego Beer Vlog. Still joined by Peter, the master of hoppets here in yep. San Diego. So I've been, uh, you know, telling Peter about this beer. We've had it sitting around. We're finally getting to it. Looking for it's it. from the brewery. This is their Tart of Darkness. This is from uh, their Provision series. Uh, we, I bought this, you know, a while back. It's a five point. Six percent sour stout that's been aged in bourbon barrels. Basically, what they did is they took Black Tuesday out of the bourbon barrels, threw in this low ABV stout, and threw in a bunch of their uh, souring agents, bacteria, and you know wild yeast into it, and came up with this beer. It's almost to the point where every beer eating nation that comes out gets try Tart Darkness because it was not very widely distributed. So you, I see like a little bit yeah. of like a ruby red on the. Kind of looks like a really dark. Uh, uh, Woodbrin or Flemish star, like the Flemish star. Yeah, star. definitely. Just a little tracing of uh, light brown head that's fading because through that yeah. acid acidity. Yeah, so. kind of looks a little bit like the oyster stuff we had the at the bottom here. Actually. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. good the aroma. Oh, tartness right away. Yeah. You know what? It's I get the cherry notes. Yeah. That's that it. They also had it, but it's just more in balance. Yeah, this is the actual lactobacillus yeah. character. This is that lacto creamy cherry pie yeah. filling note. Ooh, that smells awesome. You get a little bit of that uh, white or uh, red wine vinegar. Yeah, you know, definitely. Apple like, cider. Apple balsamic kind of balsamic vinegar. in there, yeah. Oakiness is kind of subtle, but I do pick a little yeah, bit. I get a touch of bourbon. It's really muted, but it's buried in there beneath all that sour but notes. Yeah, a lot of like the darker kind of fruity notes, but yeah, sour. Like little hints of chocolate. I mean, you get a little bit of that stout yeah, character still. A little bit of in chocolate, there. little bit of the dark fruits, but not like the roasted malt or something yeah. like that. I don't pick that up. Yeah, it's, it's basically getting that that sort of Flander style sour yeah, stuff. Right? So, smells, smells awesome. Yeah, let's dig in. Yeah, cheers. Cheers. Oh, that's tasty. Oh, nice chocolate flavor to it. You yeah. definitely get that from the stout component. Like a nice kind of, I don't know if it's darker chocolate, really. I say it's like a mix between like a darker and chocolate or a coca bean. Yeah. Well, for me, it's kind of let that sit on my tongue, in my mouth. I mean, it really attacks your palate up front. I mean, it's, it's nice pretty sour. tart. Yeah. It's pretty sour up front. And you definitely sure. get that kick of sour. Uh, body, I'd say, is on the lighter side. It's dry, but still kind of got a, like it's pretty smooth, kind of silky mouthfeel to it. Also, yeah, silky. That, that I think the big kick with this is, it's like a Flanders red ale, but then it's got the stout component. But the like stout the base, so you get like the yeah, you get that roasted and, chocolateiness in there, and then awesome. the dark fruits. Which kind of carries into the dark cherry, balsamic right. vinegar, tartness, real tart. Yeah. Oak is m even more subtle, or bourbony is even more subtle in the flavor. It's, like it's more of the sourness that dominates with those stout. Yeah, yeah, you get more oak tannins than you get the uh, the bourbon yeah. character on the. I like flavor. this more than the cherry version actually, because you get more of the salt component and not just cherry in the, like a creek or something. Exactly. Like that. This is really good. Yeah. So we have the tart of darkness warm up. It's really, really tasty. Really like you get more of the. Stouty components, like a lot of like a decent amount of chocolate with the sourness balances in with the nice kind of vineyards, red wine flavors and the balsamic vinegar. Yeah. I, this is a phenomenal <laughs> sour. I love this. This is amazing. Yeah, pretty much whatever you said, I agree with. You get all those characteristics and it's so well done. The good news is if you're watching that there is a new batch of this coming out. <laughs> so, you know, Buy it up if you see it, if you can get it. I, I believe it might be also another provisions only release. So in that case, trade for it. Yeah, for sure. If you this can. is definitely worth it. It's, it's definitely unique. There's not a lot of these type of beers, especially this low ABV of a stout yeah. being soured. You don't typically see that. Like Jolly Pumpkins is a higher ABV yeah, stout. Yeah, the Alcazara. But this is, um, I think, one of the brewery's best sours, and then yell it. So for me, it's an A. What do you think? I'm right along there with you. I'm like, 95 on my scale. I, I think this is an amazing sour. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I completely agree. The best sour I've had from the brewery. I've had a few now here in uh, in um, San Diego or up in Orange when we went to the permission shop, and this is definitely by far my favorite. It's I like this more than the cherry version too, which was good. But just getting the more stout components and all, 
awesome, awesome stuff. So uh, thanks to Peter for joining me on this one. You know, I want to open something really this. nice for him because I knew he'd love it and he did. And cheers, to Joe, for hanging out here and getting some stone beer. <laughs> uh, so until next time, please comment, subscribe. Cheers. Cheers.